What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, the last episode, we uh, we finished up Chapter 9, Farewell, in one heck of a long spree. Um, but, oh man, was it glorious when I finally completed it. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all of your, I guess, sharing of your thoughts, your experiences. Um, all of these different things that added so much more insight into even my own experience and understanding of the levels and the symbolism behind... Um, even the game design at certain points, and even retrospective reinterpretations of earlier events in the game. It was it was really helpful, and that's part of why I love doing these types of playthroughs on YouTube, is um, because it can really be a community effort, and it can really enhance your own experience with the game. And and of course, I'm, I hope you guys actually enjoyed it yourselves. But this is the bonus episode, and at the end of the last episode, I said that I was thinking the Moonberry was something I would try. I, I looked into it briefly. Uh, to see just kind of what that would entail. And then there is the 1A dashless strawberry. Now, you've also probably realized, for those of you that are watching this uh, live, um, or I guess, I guess as these episodes release, um, it's been almost a couple weeks since the last time I uploaded, since the, uh, I uploaded the finale. And I just want to say um, I'm sorry about that, but to provide a little bit of perspective, um, since finishing that, a lot has gone on in the world, and I'm quite emotionally drained um, by all of it, but I'm glad that so much change is um, being pushed for and, and hopefully coming about. And I encourage you all to participate in that if, if you have any capacity to do so. But as a result, I haven't really felt too much like recording, and like I mentioned in the last episode, I was kind of ready to move on from Celeste, so I really thought over whether or not I wanted to do this episode in the first place. And the Moonberry looks like it's going to be quite a challenge, having to complete that last level quite a few times in order to even have attempts. And given my current mood and, and energy state, I'm not sure I'm, I'm really up for that challenge, especially given it's been about a week and a half since I completed that level. Maybe if I was, you know, fresh off of completing that level and had it down, um, it would be something I'd be more up to, but not 100% feeling it. I'm thinking I may try the, well, you guys will know based on how long the video is, the Dashless 1A Strawberry. I think it'll require some advanced tech that I don't know yet, but I'm kind of curious to see how far I get with it. So that's what I think I'm going to do with this episode. One other important thing, sorry, I know it's taken forever to actually get into the gameplay, and I guess I'll, I'll mention it here because... <laughs> Um, because I know that some of you will probably skip to when I'm actually here. Oh, interesting. Um, this gold strawberry. Is this the one you get for doing a dashless, or? I don't know. Wow, it's been so long since I've played. Um, somebody mentioned that the... The task of this is really, and I mean really impressive and suggested a live reaction to it. Would you guys be interested in that? If so, uh, please do comment below and please join the Discord, HeroNet. There's a link in the description. I believe that if that is going to be the case, it'll be over an hour or so and will actually be something that happens uh, maybe when we watch it live together on Discord, grab some, grab some snacks or something and I'm able to share my reactions because I am very excited to see that. Now, already, we're at quite the obstacle here, right? I believe this golden strawberry that's following us is just so that this is the one where if we don't die. But I don't really know how to get over this already. Right? I'm not seeing a good way over. Have we already met our match? There's probably some crazy tech I could use. But to do it dashless. Yeah, I don't know. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> that sound? That was so crazy. So the that's actually a really cool technique, um, or a bit of, I guess, game design is that if you grab the golden strawberry, they're assuming you're going for that deathless run, and if you do die, they will, I guess, um, take it back. <laughs> They'll take you back to the very beginning of the level, right away. 
But if you don't, yep, just as I expected, they'll bring you here. And already, this looks like... Is this just me not getting the, the timing right or something? I'm pretty sure I'm as high up as I can go. Hmm. Is this already where we where we meet our match? Oh, no, I don't know exactly what was different about that, but nevertheless, here we are. Can I make it up here? I can. Can I make it over there, though? I can, actually. I do that. Oh, I dropped a little bit too low. You can already probably tell I'm a little bit rusty, but not too incredibly rusty. Can I make it up here? Almost. Hmm. Okay, I can make it up there, though, so we're good. This room will be pretty feasible. <laughs> wow, it's been so long since, uh... Since going through all these levels. Really, since playing this game. <laughs> Huh. So how are we going to do this? Can I go up there? That's uh, not going to be the way to go. That doesn't seem like it's going to be the way to go. Hmm. Seems like I got quite a bit of height off of that. Maybe I can just like try and develop some advanced technique on the spot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure going to the left... Yeah, I mean, I absolutely need to use my dash here. Hmm. For some reason, when I do it like that, I get a little bit more height out of it. It's like I'm able to jump a little bit earlier than normal. So I'm not, my, my vertical coordinate, I guess, is a little bit higher. So I, I guess I'll try that a little bit. Maybe not too much, but... I know that, um, and I do want to say that there were some videos suggested to me at the end of, in the comments of the last episode, which I have not taken a look at yet, but I recognize they will be a useful resource should this be something I really want to complete and, well, I guess need that technology. I also heard there are some really good analysis videos of this game, and that doesn't surprise me. With the incredible level design and, and game design, music design, ev everything behind it, story, there's probably so much to pick apart here. Is this where I meet my match or what? Hmm. I don't know. There's some way to like build up momentum without a dash? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. It's just so such a tight timing. But I'd imagine this is this is what it takes. I'm just trying to jump as early as I possibly can. And then immediately hold to the right. But it doesn't seem like it's enough. I do it multiple times while I like gain momentum somehow or this may be where I meet my my end guys this may be it I have to get like one of those corner jumps or whatever that I know I accidentally did by once in like chapter 8 
somebody had mentioned that and they were like, nice corner jump. And I was like, oh, I just thought that was like some bug in the game where I messed it up somehow. Oh man, I'm so close, but I feel like, I mean, I feel like that's, well, it could just be tech, some, you know, technique I don't really know how to use yet. Oh, almost! I'm looking at where Madeline's sprite is, and just trying to imagine the earliest possible time I could hit it that I think it might register me as being on the wall. Like that. And I'm not paying a ton of attention to how close her feet are to the spikes when she hits them on the right side, but... But they look pretty close to getting over. Hmm... Obviously when I die on the left side of things, I'm holding right too early. But I think the idea is I really need to get my momentum all the way to the right as early as possible if I want to get this over. So that's what I'm trying to do. But it doesn't seem to be too effective. So at this point, um, I don't know guys. <laughs> I don't know. This might be the end of the, the dashless run. Maybe I'll try to do this just, um, what's it called? Deathless for the sake of getting one of the golden strawberries because they look really cool. The, uh, what's it called? The completionist inside of me finds this whole idea really neat. But it's not something that I definitely... I definitely won't be doing it for all of the levels. No way. Those look... That would be really, really difficult. But I guess for the sake of having something to show for this episode, I guess we can aim for this golden strawberry at least. And see how that goes. Yeah, it's crazy coming back to early stages and, you know, recognizing how far you've come in terms of just familiarity with the different levels and everything. And I think this is a pretty short level overall, so it's not like it's going to be something that lasts, you know, forever. But I obviously don't want to mess it up just uh, goofing around. Okay, um... I don't even remember how long the level is. What's crazy is that, like, I'm so used to the, the later chapter lengths, like chapter 9's length and how long of a chapter that was. You really, really shouldn't even be calling it a chapter, if I'm honest. And there's another checkpoint. So we're probably, like, two-thirds of the way through the level. I don't even remember which way is the, the right way to go. I think it's to the right. I think. I think we go this way? No, that's just a winged strawberry. I think we go this way? Yeah, this seems about right. It'd be kind of crazy to imagine... Well, I'm sure there are tons of, like... I haven't wave dashed yet. <laughs> but I'm sure that's, like, super broken in some of these early levels. It'd be really funny to go back and look exactly where all of those broken segments would be. And how broken they really are when you incorporate that, you know, uh, those techniques. I don't remember exactly what I need to do here. I think I have to do that. Or was I not supposed to do that? I don't remember. Either way, we're living, so <laughs> we will we will keep on going. And 
All right. Oh, and so that's how you add to the strawberry total beyond what we've already collected. Okay, because I'd seen some people that, you know, were at like that 200 level. So we'll skip the cutscene and we'll... We'll say congratulations for getting a golden strawberry. <laughs> I know there's one for, you know, all of the A chapters, all the Bs, all the Cs. Um, the Cs are supposedly relatively easy compared to some of the A's and B's just due to the lengths of the chapters. But honestly, guys, um, I'm feeling ready to move on from this game. Uh, it was actually fun playing the game again, but I don't think I'm mentally in a good place to to take on the challenge of the Moonberry and the Dashless uh, Strawberry or most of the golden strawberries really, especially given my completionist uh, instincts. I think it might be a little bit dangerous actually to start going after most of the golden strawberries. So thank you guys so much for your support throughout the entirety of the Let's Play. And I'm sorry that I know many of you will be disappointed that you won't get to see me struggle through getting the, uh, <laughs> the moonberry and such. Honestly, I love this game so much. And I overall had a really great time with it, and I think it's such an excellently designed game that I wouldn't be surprised if in the future I felt like coming back to this game. And if that's the case, you know, whenever it is down the line, you may see a random bonus episode of Celeste show up where I'm like, you know, I finally felt like going after the Moonberry. I finally felt up to the challenge of the final level again. Felt like relearning it and going through that. And, and maybe that will be something you can look forward to in the future. I won't completely cut off that possibility. But I don't want you to continue waiting for this bonus episode with the expectation that you'll see it. And I think um, and I think I've been putting this episode off because I'm afraid to disappoint in that regard. But regardless, um, let me know what you guys think about the reaction to the TAS. And if you're interested, uh, please join the Discord because that might be something we do as... As early as this weekend, um, we would coordinate a time or something like that in the Discord itself. And again, thank you guys so much for all of your support throughout the series, sharing your experiences, your thoughts, your insights based on uh, the final episode. And and I hope you guys are looking forward to future series, whether that's um, whether that's a past series like Super Meat Boy um, or you know future games. I've heard The Messenger, and and there's some other you know types of games in this vein that are really well designed too. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a, well, I actually know that this is a genre I really enjoy, these really difficult platformers. So I would, I would be surprised if these didn't show up on my channel again. So yeah, um, sorry, I know this isn't going to be the episode many of you wanted, but thank you for your patience and thanks for understanding. And I hope to see you guys in other playthroughs. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the games that are coming next. I am very excited. They're very different from this game, but certainly have their own unique, their own, their their own unique charm, and uh, and earn their their place in the hearts of their many uh, of their dedicated fan base. But until the random bonus episode, if it happens, whenever it happens, where I maybe go for the moonberry or the dashless strawberry after studying up on some advanced tech or whatever it may be. Or until the next series you guys watch that I see you in. Uh, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>